Hollyho, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. So, I did not do any grinding yet. We're still 15, 15, 16, 16. Um, let's do this, guys. We're just gonna go ahead and go for it. And, uh, wait, where is it? Don't remember where the gem is. Ah, right, here it is. We're good. Alright. Please. Angling. Hard. Yo, champ of the making! This gym is home to normal type Pokemon trainers. I recommend you use fighting type Pokemon. Yeah, fighting type is normal's only weakness, but normal also has no real strengths. So, uh, we're not gonna skip any trainers. Oh, you're a cute little trainer. I like you, but I won't hold back. Uh, okay, lady, whatever you say. Beauty Victoria. Alright, you. Centret. Centret and Fruit are fun. I like them. And Centret's only level 9, so maybe that gives us a little hope. Hint, there's no hope. Another Centret. And this one is level 13. Yeah, I told you there was no hope. So yeah, this this episode's probably going to be just the gym itself. Because there's quite a few trainers in here. And Whitney is... Uh, Whitney is basically the destroyer of worlds. For a lot of people. Now, you can make her fight super ridiculously easy by catching a certain bug Pokemon. Because, I think I mentioned it in the last video, uh, there's a bug fighting type. And it's the... Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, it's basically the best one to catch for this area. Um, Heracross, level 17. Oh God. Let's move to Mudslap. Lower that accuracy. Um, but yeah, Heracross is a really good Pokemon, learns some decent fighting type moves, and can steamroll this entire gym by itself once you've, you know, gotten it decently leveled. So, and Heracross is a good Pokemon in general. Like, just honestly, if you ever want to go back to Gen 2, I highly recommend getting you a Heracross. Um, they're a rare Pokemon only found in trees. I think I can- oh, he used Quick Attack. Ah, the strategies. Okay, Mary, it's down. Zolom time. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend using Heracross. Her Heracross is a great Pokemon. Um, however, oh, I didn't even see what you said. Let's see, oops, and then something else. I guess I lost, or I'm out of Pokemon. Wow, you must be good to beat me. Keep it up. Um, we're gonna run away and heal, because I really would like to get married some levels. I don't know what level it learns anything good, but... Yeah, I'm gonna be right back. You know you're in for a fun time when the first gym, or first battle in the gym makes you run away with your tail tucked between your legs. Ah, oh, there she is right by the way. Give you your best shot, or I'll take you down. Okay. Beauty Samantha. Okay. Meowth. Meowth is a good Pokemon. I like Meowth. Alright. Let's start with some accuracy down. Oh, I'll take some payday. Coffee will give me the strength I need to come through this is this travesty. I'm not sure if that's the correct word, but it sounded cool. So we're going with it. I 
Ow. Don't critical me, Meowth. Alright, Mario, do you learn the fun thing yet? You do not. I am saddened. Alright, Mario, you're gonna get moved out of here then, because I don't want to risk losing anyone at this point. I really should have looked at a uh, learn set move list thing. Words. Probably not learn until like level 18 or 20. But we're gonna spit on cats. Cats hate water, right? I mean, it is scratching me, so. Probably does hate water. And now it's biting me. Cat's very mad. Alright, well we took out Samantha. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, Meowth, I'm so sorry. Poor Meowth. Hey, I picked up the 64 coins that were living on the ground. Alright, and... Did I just go around in a circle? I went around in a circle. I don't want to retreat yet. Nobody's fainted. Hello. Don't let my Pokemon's cute looks fool you. They can whip you. I... Okay. Oh, it's Snubble. You know, Snubble got retcons. No, Snubble's not normal anymore. Let's see if that helps. Oh, God. Well, eat a mud slap. You know. I mean, it benefits me more when he actually hits me, but I'll take a fully paralyzed. At the same token, I'm also very happy that he's not damaging me, so... Yeah, 6 one half dozen of the other. Don't you dare try to slow me down. I see your strategy. You have Lick to paralyze. Scary face to lower speed and bite to flinch. I I can see what you're doing there. But I already got the head start on paralysis. So ha. Darn, I thought you were weak. I mean, I have a couple of Pokemon that are about on their last legs, but I'm not weak, necessarily. Uh, looks like I'm down to the last trainer. Alright, let's... Huh, last, last trainer. Aha, uh -huh, I made it funny. Anyway. I like cute Pokemon better than strong Pokemon. But I have strong and cute Pokemon. Okay. Oh, you have three Pokemon. This is gonna be fun. Hey, it's Jigglypuff! It's gonna put everybody to sleep. Beware. Oh god, defense curl. <sighs> Duke could do that, but I won't. Oh god, defensive Jigglypuff. That's scary, actually.
I knew that was gonna happen. Oh my god, how much more defense do you need? Apparently more. <laughs> Did you just disable tackle? I hate you. <sighs> okay, fine, we're butt slapping. Brought this on yourself, Jigglypuff. How much more defense do you need? It's not like your defense is resetting. Okay, you finally maxed out your defense, but you're almost dead. Let's save those mud slaps for the next Pokemon. Because I don't think Marriott's gonna make it much longer. Another Jigglypuff, oh god. No, I was trying to. I hit A instead of B. You tried to disable mud slap? Come on now. Nice crit. Oh god, it's begun. Well, two can play that game for some reason. Wonder if I can prevent him from killing me now. That actually might be my strategy for uh, for Whitney. Actually, now that I think about it. I have one Pokemon I can make that strategy work on, and that may be what I do. Well, technically I have two, but this this one would be the um, backup strat for sure. Can't evade anymore, but I can prevent you from damage. But I missed. Sorry about the beeping, folks. If you ever hit critical, I'm dead. But I will do my best to take you down before that becomes a thing. Die, Jigglypuff. Die for all the elephants out there, I guess. Yay, level 17. Oh, it's Flail. Well, Flail would definitely come in handy right about now, but... Uh, let me see here. Oh, I can't look at it. I think Flail's better than Tackle. Am I gonna regret this? No, what? Let me not regret this and just go ahead and get rid of Growl, because I'm gonna be using it. Then I can decide to get rid of Tackle or Flail, depending on which one's worse. Oh, no, no, no! I'm trying to beat Whitney, but it's depressing. I'm okay. If I lose, I'll just try harder next time. You know, you speak for everyone when you say that. Folks, I'll be right back. So, the strategy. Let's talk about the strategy. She has two Pokemon. The first one's there, not really a problem, but can be a problem if, if uh, you're not leveled up enough. The second Pokemon is an absolute atrocity. If you don't know what you're doing to take it out, I have a strategy in mind. Hi, I'm Whitney. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. You want a battle? I'm warning you, I'm good. Leader Whitney. Hi, Clefairy. So the whole gym is laid out like a Clefairy, by the way. I know a lot of people have said that. Um, so I have Zolom in front. 
my first concept uh, of my first uh, plan is to paralyze the Clefairy. This Clefairy uses metronome. A lot of metronomes. That's fine, I've already paralyzed you. What Safeguard does is prevent you from inflicting status effects. Oh, excuse me. But it does not cure status effects that are already there, so... And you just learned a move that I'm pretty sure you already have. I'm just glad you didn't learn Glare, because that would have been bad. So now I'm going to max out my defense. I am going to spam Defense Curl until I've used it six times. That double slap hurts, by the way. Now, critical attacks will still get through defense. Uh, critical hits ignore all defense, uh, all stat, defensive stat ups. Okay, that was, this is number five if I'm not mistaken. I may actually waste a turn making sure I maxed out defense. Come on. Let me get, okay, that last one was a critical. So, this should be number six. Oh, wait, I don't have to waste it. All I have to do is look at my, my used PP. As long as I don't get hit with Spite. Oh, Dynamic Punch! Oh my god, are you serious? What are the odds that you would get Dynamic Punch of all things? God. Okay. Now, we're gonna pop a potion. Yeah, because that will be good. Now... We want to keep our health relatively high because of criticals, and we're going to try to use Rage. Alright, Rage is active now. Now, I may not do a lot of damage right now. Substitute. Oh, that's going to suck. Alright, use Rage. Is paralyzed. Come on, confusion go away. I'm tired of flipping a coin for that. <laughs> That's funny. Confused no more. Okay, good. Alright, your substitute faded. Alright. That's fine. I'd rather you hit me, but that's fine. Come on, hit me with double slap. Double slap me. Good. Rage is building. Rage is building. Rage is building. <laughs> that's right. Hit me enough times to boost my rage. Make me mad at you. Oh, God. Alright, Zolom, this is your time to shine. This is what needs Miltank. Miltank has a very powerful move called Rollout. Rollout, yeah, there it is. It starts off really weak. Like, it's, yeah, it starts off pathetically weak. Rage is building. Um, every turn that it goes on, it gets progressively stronger until it misses. If it ever misses, it stops, it resets, and you regain control. The idea is, you don't want Militate being out for more than a couple of turns, because Rollout gets to the point of sweeping your team. That's why all the defense buffs. That's why all the preparation and making sure Rage was strong enough to one to two shot her. Also, she's crying that I mean. You shouldn't be so serious, you child, you! I'm a child. And she's crying. And she's crying. And calling me a meanie. Oh no, you made Whitney cry. It's okay, she'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. What? What do you want? A badge? Oh right, I forgot. Here's the plane badge. Yeah. Plane badge lets your Pokemon use strength. Wait, when do you learn strength? Oh, what'd you give me? Is that rollout? Oh no, it's tracked. That's right. Oh yeah, because that's something else that she has for her. I want to say that Clefairy has a tracked. I'm not sure about. No, no, Miltank has it. Um, what is Zolom? 
Zolom, what are you? Are you male? Oh no, you're female! Oh wow, I've got really lucky there. That the the Pokemon that I was using as a as a uh, primary fighter was actually a female because her female Pokemon can use Attract. So both of her Pokemon are female. Anywho, so we managed to beat Whitney and it not take an entirely long time. So please let me in the Poke Door. Um. So let us heal. I'm so glad. There are uh, there are some rough gym battles to come, but none that are quite so. Uh, how do I put it? Like she's not the most difficult trainer in the game, but by the time that you come up to her, it's just she has a strategy that's really hard to beat without proper preparation. You have to know about. It. If you don't know her battle is coming, she will wreck you. Alright, oh, I did say we were going to go. Let's see if I can actually go into the underground area here. I don't have to do it now, but this is a good time as any. Now, you talked to this guy, and he said he was challenged to battle. So it's rough down there. You better be careful. Alright, so we got trainers down here. I think you have some rare Pokemon with you. Let me see them! No. No, he's my highest level. You're not going to get to see my Dunsparce. He sent out Slowpoke. Slow. Yeah, this is... Slowpoke's fun. I like Slowpoke. I have a new appreciation for Rage. <laughs> for a Pokemon like Dunsparce. Makes me want to put Rage on a Snorlax. Could you imagine how how strong Rage would end up getting by the time Snorlax is at like you know half HP or so? Because Snorlax just has a crap ton of HP, and giving him Rage would be so mean. I know Sobek leveled up, but let him have this one. Besides, it's Apostomate who has to come out, and Apostomate couldn't do anything to a Slowpoke. Gah! I lost! It makes me mad! You look like you're insane already. Are you making a Pokédex? Here's a hot tip. The hiker on Route 33, Anthony, is a good guy. He'll phone you if he sees any rare Pokémon. Actually, that's a good note. Um, Anthony is really good at f at telling you where rope rare po rare Pokemon are. So, in fact, I want to say he's one of them that tells you where Dunsparce is. Do you consider type alignments in battle? If you know your type advantages, you'll do better in battle. Yes, yes, you will. Super nerd, Magnemite. Magnemite's okay. Not really my favorite Pokemon, but it's okay. Also, it's part Steel now, by the way. Um, that does make this a lot more difficult. Like I said, poor Apostomate can't do much of anything right now. Um, let's go back to Marion, because Marion does have at least a Ground-type move. Although, Magnemite, because of its Steel-typing, it's less vulnerable to, to Earth now. Uh, ground Attacks. And it ends up being immune to ground entirely because of Levitate. I mean, there was a 10 level difference there, so. <laughs> Another Magnemite. I mean, we can farm some EXP off of this. So I could try to use Constrict just because of the level difference, but Steel resists normal. Yeah. So even though he's nine levels under me, he will do more damage than I will. That's how broken Seal's defensiveness are. Is. Whatever. Whatever words are right of there. Yeah, when Steel was first introduced, it was a just... Uh, it was so hard to fight anything with Steel typing. 
Um, and even now, Steel is still a really good type. It's my second favorite type. Uh, because I love tanky Pokemon. Also, he's using a Voltorb now, so I actually might be able to fight him with a Possumate. Um, but Steel type is just so strong physically that it makes a great... Uh, stall type Pokemon, especially for Pokemon like Fortress. Fortress is, even though Heracross is technically better, technically, I prefer Fortress as far as the bug Pokemon you can get out of trees in this area. Because uh, Pineco becomes Fortress, and Fortress is a bug steal, and when it's, its name literally is Fortress, and it is exactly that. If you have a defensive build there, you give him status effects and defense buffs, and he's a wall. Now, fire type comes in, he completely gets wrecked because both bug and steel are weak to fire, but anything aside from the weakness of steel, essentially, because flying types can't do anything to him because of the steel. Um, same thing with, uh, let's see, what other bugs other weaknesses? Bug is weak to rock, which can't do anything to steal. Uh, they are weak to fire, which, of course, like, like I said, that, that obliterates steel. Um, they are weak to flying, so that's, you know, steel protects that weakness. Um, what else is Bug weak to? I don't remember. Bug has, like, two or three weaknesses. And steel protects all but fire, basically. I know my Pokemon type alignments, but I only use one type of Pokemon. Yeah, that's kind of your problem. Also, what's over here? Oh, it's a door. No entry beyond this point. Oh, the door's locked. Okay, well, we'll keep going. Oh, what are you? Welcome to the Pokemon Salon. I'm the younger and less experienced, expensive of the two. Haircut Brothers. I'll spiff up your Pokemon for just 300 Pokeyen. So how about it? No, we don't have a Pokemon that needs a haircut right this moment. Hello, dear. I sell an expensive herbal medicine. They're good, but a trifle bitter. Your Pokemon may not like them. <laughs> so, yeah, anything labeled bitter on uh, the revival herb is later to be called very bitter. Uh, bitter medicines will lower your friendship with the Pokemon, and the revival herb, it really lowers it quite a lot. Now, of course, this does have a use. Ah, uh, there's the coin case. Um, if you have a Pokemon that has the move of Frustration, my Pokemon just got a haircut. I'll show you how strong it is. Hmm, what Pokemon would you have that would need a haircut? Why am I not surprised? Um, but yeah, so... Uh, frustration is a move that the less they like you, the more powerful it is. And so part of your strategy might be to tick your Pokemon off to the point of them loathing your very existence so when they use frustration, they one-shot the enemy. It's not... I don't know. Return is the opposite. It is much easier to maintain. <laughs> because return is its basically a return of affection. Um, so the more they like you, the more damage they do, and generally speaking, because of how Pokemon is built around your Pokemon ending up liking you and all that fun stuff, because... Oh, I just realized he's using Cut. It's very rare for, for a trainer to use an HM move. Hmm. Anyway. Um... Let's try and learn Nightsh Ooh, Nightshade. Nightshade's not the greatest move in the world, but that would give him something else to fight with. Yeah, let me give him a scary face, actually. That'll let him fight things that his poison can't fight affect. If he had known that against the Magnemites, he could have soloed them. Aye! But yeah, return is just usually better than frustration. Your Pokemon will like you more if you give them haircuts. I got booted out of the game corner. I was trying to cheat using my Pokemon, 
Well, what Pokemon would you be cheating with? What are you using, Magnemites? Because I can see that working. No, he was using Grimer. I, I, I don't even. Oh, well, I could use actually Nightshade now. Aha! Well, that color change is atrocious. So, Nightshade has not changed from the original game. I think I described it in yellow, but I'm going to describe it again here. It is basically, even though it's ghost type, its type does not matter. Uh, aside from, I think it may miss normal types. Um, but using Nightshade, Nightshade does exactly the same amount of damage every time you use it, and its damage is based on your level. So, Apostomate's level 17, so he always he does 17 damage. Apostomate may not survive this encounter. But I gotta try, I gotta get my poor little bugs some XP. I don't remember whenever anything a level uh evolves, I mean. So ah oh. they're trying to squash my bug by pounding it. But he's a cow killer. You don't you can't kill a cow killer by squashing it. I mean he's not a cow killer at the moment, he, he evolves into one. Right now, he's supposed to be some sort of spider. I guess I have to do the things fair and square. He sounds so defeated. Alright, and now we have cleared out the underground of trainers. So now we can go down there without having to fight everybody. Um, the only thing really down there are the random shops. I say random because they are based on the day, but they change every day. Um, the Haircut Brothers, they swap out. I think there's another shop too, but I could be mistaken. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. So until next time, folks, we hope to see you again. Later.